Yo, what's up, man? You know what, guys? I came to give Zhang, Big Zhang, his shoes. And I just heard that the Zhang, he said no to the fight. And he forget his shoes. So now I'm focused now on Ajay Kabayan. Two hours later. Box and Talk family, I'm hurt. If you paid attention to this channel, big salute, you've known that I've always said things like, my boy Ajit is legit, you know, Ajit Kabayel, man. But apparently, <laughs> Ajit is legitimately just like every other fighter in the heavyweight division, man. They're legitimately scared of the Badman from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes, you know who he is, Martin Bacoli. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Today, we had some unfortunate news, right? The news is unfortunate because, you know, the fight that we were looking forward to, you know, Martin Bacoli versus Ajit Kabayel has been called off and canceled, not by the IBF. Not by the powers that be, but by the Caballel team themselves, man. Now, you know, I'm very disappointed because I've always said, you know, Caballel is going to do his thing, man. And I didn't, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was looking forward to this fight because I, I'm looking very much forward to seeing Martin Bacoli every time he fights, you know what I'm saying? The bad mind out of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And I was like, I really, I'm really high on the Jit Caballel, man. I thought this fight was almost a 50 50 fight, but I was leaning slightly more towards Bacoli a little bit. You know, it depends on what day you ask me. But I'm very disappointed in this because, you know, I just think, man, Caballel, he just can't join the bunch, man. I know you don't want to lose, but this would have been a good fight. Now, the caveat is because, you know, I'm very pro boxer. And I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to say he's scared. Maybe, just maybe, because Frank Warren and Queensberry, who, are, who manage and promote Daniel Dubois, the IBF champion, maybe... Because he's looking forward to his February 22nd date, Caballel could have got the call. So if you're going to cancel the fight with Bacoli, you know, if you get a call from Dubois, I think it's pretty justified, right? So, you know, you get an opportunity at a title and you probably get more money, get more compensation. So I'm not mad at that if that's the case. That's a big if though, you know, but if that's the case, I'm cool with that. And I've seen some people talking about maybe Zhang. Uh, uh, wants to fight with Dubois, but I don't think that would overtake the title eliminator that was okayed and approved by the IBF. Now, let's say Zhang does want the fight. I'm cool with that fight too, but according to Martin Bacoli himself, you know, the bad mind don't lie, so I don't think he's lying, but according to him, he said that Zhang didn't want no pressure. I came to give Zhang, big Zhang, his shoes. Zhang ran away, forget his shoes in Congo, and I just heard that the Zhang, he said no to the fight. And he forget his shoes. Big Zhang, come collect your shoes, man. Stop running away. I know your team is protecting you. They don't want you to get knocked out. So now I'm focused now on Ajay Kabayal. Kabayal, be ready. So you can tell by the video, he doesn't believe Zhang wants to fight him. So I believe him. Like I said, I don't think any of them are liars. You know, they might stretch the truth a little bit, but but just flat out lying, no. I think it's obvious that Zhang didn't want to fight him or else that fight would have been made before, you know. And so he was getting ready for Kabayel, and now Kabayel doesn't want the pressure either. But like I said, in the scenario that maybe Zhang and Dubois, uh, sorry, not Zhang and Dubois, in the scenario that Zhang is fighting Bacoli, then, you know, and, and, and Kabayel got the call for Dubois since AJ doesn't want to, uh, 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 you know, fight and go through and pursue his rematch with Daniel Dubois, then that would make sense for Caballero to pull out to go fight Dubois. Now, Zhang, like I said, I, I don't believe the Zhang noise because I think that Zhang would try to fight Dubois as well. I don't think anybody's rushing to fight Bacoli, but if the beast from the East, you know, and Big Bang Zhang from China, that would be dope if he was fighting the Badman from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I think that's a great fight. I think Caballero and Bacoli is a great fight, but it seems like Bacoli's left with the short end of the stick and he's needing an opponent now. Like I said, these could fall into place, but I'm kind of disappointed in Caballero unless... He's fighting Dubois. If he's fighting anybody else, man, it's not a good look for my boy. I don't want to say he's ducking. Every day that I've been 
but he definitely dodging, dipping, and swaying. You know what I'm talking about? But y'all, y'all let me know in, in the comments what y'all think about that. Would you be okay with Caballo fighting Dubois if that's the reason for cancellation of, uh, of his fight with Bacoli, or you think this is a straight up duck? Like I said, if he's fighting Dubois, I can understand that because the stakes are higher and the potential revenue is probably higher fighting the champion and Daniel Dubois than it would be fighting Martin Bacoli. But if it's if that's not the case, I man, I'm kind of disappointed. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Don't forget to smash that like button. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're not even the doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.